Hi, my name is Whitney Milam. Welcome to my channel. If you notice that my voice is a little bit hoarse, it's because I think I might be coming down with something. Hopefully not. Hopefully it just subsides. I've got uh, some peppermint tea here that will hopefully do wonders for me. But I wanted to talk today a little bit about injuries. If you've been watching my videos for a little while, you might know that I tripped over my cat in March and I thought I sprained my ankle um, or just rolled it initially and it was still bothering me in July. And so I went and finally got x-rays and nothing was broken. I think I would have known if it was broken, but the doctor said that he thought I had some torn veins in my foot and basically that it was just gonna be a long healing process of taking it easy and clearly I haven't done that. So when we went camping over Labor Day weekend and we hiked 20 miles, needless to say, that was not the greatest for my foot. And so it's been pretty sore, pretty aggravated, but I really just don't want to take it easy or take time off. And part of that is because I've been derailed entirely by an injury in the past. Not even a real injury, just like the perception of an injury. About eight years ago, so this is going way back, <laughs> Um, I was not happy with how much weight I had put on in my first year of college. For those of you who haven't seen my How I Gained the Weight video, I put on 50 pounds my freshman year and I wanted to get it off. I worked out a couple times and then I started to get nervous because my knee was hurting and I bought a brace but it didn't fit my knee because it was too chubby. <laughs> And so I thought to myself, you know, I'm just gonna take some time off and let it heal. And I was really nervous about giving myself an actual injury. And so I just eventually stopped working out and I didn't get back onto it. I know now that when you're injured, there are so many alternatives. You just kind of isolate that body part and you say, I'm gonna work on the other stuff or I'm gonna do lower impact on that area. So that's what I've been doing lately. I haven't done a CrossFit workout in the last two weeks, and I haven't done the elliptical or the treadmill. Instead, I did this arc glider thing at work that basically you're, you're doing the motion, but it's not as much up and down on your joints. I don't know if it's lower impact, but it felt better. It felt more like I was stretching my foot than actually putting a lot of pressure on it. But that's the thing, I still burned a lot of calories doing that. And I got my heart rate into a really great zone and it was a tough workout. It was a good workout. I felt like I was really pushing myself, but I just wasn't putting as much pressure on that one body part. I've really been focusing on my upper body and my core and my upper body I know is getting stronger because my push-ups are really improving. I'm trying to do just a handful of push-ups more frequently because I do have a hard time doing more than five, but I'm learning to push myself, so I'm doing it in short spurts and gradually building up that strength. I'm just really thankful for this journey because it's proving to me how capable I am. You might take one thing out of the mix, but that doesn't mean that the rest of the body is out of commission. If there is a problem area for you and it's something that isn't going to be fixed by exercising it more, if it's something like a, a chronic issue, talk to a personal trainer or to a physical therapist and find out what you can do, learn what your limits are, and don't let it sideline you. Injuries have been an excuse for me in the past, and they aren't anymore. They're a detour, not a barricade. You just gotta find your way around it. That's it for this video. I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.